I feel like that should be good. Yeah. <sighs> I'm like dying. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my name is Ash. I'm from Wahoo Public. Go Wahoo! Go Wahoo! Go! And I'm also a junior. Um, this is my poem. Who even are you? Who even are you? Because it really feels like I don't know you and never did. And that you feel the same way about me. I tried my hardest to encourage and love you. I really did. When you told me how you felt inside about your pronouns, I didn't fight you. I just accepted it and lifted you up. Because I was happy you had found yourself. And I was happy you had become yourself. I changed the I-E to E-Y because it looked more masculine and because I thought it would help you feel more at home, that you'd feel more at ease with me. And I know I did some things I shouldn't have, but they didn't feel wrong at the time because I never wanted to hurt you. And I know she didn't want to either, and yet you shunned her. I never wanted to take away the home you feel. Still, you called me a dog and put me down, and you invalidated me after I had confided in you. You did the same to her and kept them close and us closer. I apologized profusely, and you said it wasn't good enough. And I know my words were rusty, but they were even more genuine. I meant it every time I whispered even an infinitesimal sorry. And I had no clue until Tumblr and the he, they, and I'm sorry I didn't realize. But did you even realize that I accepted you right away? I let you be yourself and in turn you shattered me. And my words are small, I know it, and so do you. But words always meant so much to me and never meant anything to you. The thing that hurts the most is that you never apologized. You never realize that I'm hurt too. You just sit up in Michigan thinking I'm awful. Not even knowing that you caused my first panic attack. The breath stolen from my lungs as I sobbed and struggled to breathe because the people I thought of as my best friends were leaving me. And you probably don't know that you pretty much broke me. It was the, I never thought of you as a friend and your status, the calling me freak and freako and mostly abuser apologist. I'm still not sorry for befriending her and I don't think I ever will be. Now she's not your home and neither am I because you drove us away with your rigid words. I think I'm going to put these feelings to rest and I'm thinking that you should too for yourself because only you know who you truly are and only I know who I am. Mm.